How is everyone doing today? Well, today I want to talk about ways you can make money on your homestead. I've seen a lot of people asking how to make money on your homestead. So I'm going to give you five ways here on our homestead that we make money for ourselves. Now this is going to depend on your context and the size of your property, how much land you have, and uh, which you want to do. Obviously, if you have like half an acre, it's going to be a lot different than what we're doing because we have 75 acres and we have a maple bush, we have room to raise animals and have a big garden. So those are going to be things that will differ from my homestead compared to your homestead. And uh, as well, you might be doing a lot of different things than we're doing. So the first thing on our homestead, and these are in no particular order, it's just because I'm inside right now. So I'm going to start in the seed room here. So one of the, actually there's kind of two ways here that we make money on the homestead. First thing we do is we grow all our own vegetable seeds and we have our own vegetable garden, market garden. So we will sell all the veggies that we grow here. Um, right now I've got peppers here. We've got, the germination rate hasn't been so good. I always have a hard time with peppers. So we got peppers, we have tomatoes. Gotta take the dome off of this. Tomatoes, got parsley. Um, more tomatoes. I have some eggplant I've got started this year um, as well. Over here it's a bit darker, but got some onions. These onions I started a while ago. Um, I've got cauliflower, spinach started for the greenhouse. Um, so that's the stuff we will grow. Some of the stuff we grow to sell in the garden. But as well, I grow a lot of extra tomatoes and peppers. People seem to really like to buy tomatoes and peppers the garden so those are two ways we do it um, the tomato plants and pepper plants we sell for three dollars um, per cup so this is what it looks like usually last year we were getting where is it yeah last year we were using these cups to sell in and we still have a lot of these left over which is good um, but we got these cheap from a garden garden center that was getting rid of them as well grow a lot of herbs too people like buying herbs like thyme basil parsley, oregano, whatever you can, and it adds up. So last year I think I did about, did about 3,000 plants. A lot of that, some of them ended up in the garden, but I'm hoping to do the same this year, and I need to get some more started. So that's two ways right off the bat that we make money on the homestead, doing our seedlings, and we sell to friends, family, all over the Facebook ads. Um, so, you know, marketplace, and then sell at that in the road as well for other cottagers passing by. So next, uh, we'll head on outside and I'll show you some of the other ways here that we make money on the homestead. Okay, so this is number three. So this is what most of you will probably be doing on your homestead, is raising chickens. It's a little noisy in here today. Usually noisy in the morning because they're all laying their eggs this morning. And let's see, I think they've all been collected so far this morning, but she's laying right now. Oh, there we go, there's two down here. I would take these two now. She just laid, it's nice and warm. So that's one of the ways we make money on the homestead is selling eggs. We have been hatching all winter long. So these birds were hatched, I guess last year and they were laying during the summer and they stopped laying, but they basically started laying about a week and a half ago and they've been pumping out lots of eggs. And we have a bunch more chickens in our brooder room, which is right behind, right behind me here. And they, uh, plan is to have a lot of eggs this summer. I guess there's kind of two ways we make money with the um, chickens. One's kind of making money and one's saving money. So making money is we keep the eggs for selling. We eat them as well. And the other way is when we have all the roosters, we butcher the roosters for ourselves. So we're not have to, having to buy any of our meat. So that's gonna save us some more money. And I guess in the long run, making us money because you're not having to pay for the meat. And as prices of everything going up lately, it's saving a lot of money. So chickens are an easy way to start if you have the land and uh, if you're in the city, if your bylaws allow it, to have some chickens to sell some eggs. So that's kind of a two, two ways with chickens that you can make money and save money, which is pretty awesome. And then we'll head outside to the animals, other animals we have here. All right, so I guess uh, we're at number four now, I guess. I think there'll be six ways we will be making money on the homestead. Um, so we have our goats 
This is Billy, he's your buck. We got Gertie, Sadie, Luna, Misty, who else? Alice, Cappy. I can never remember what this last goat's name, but Kristen breeds her goats, the Nigerian dwarf goats. And uh, they're pretty hilarious, actually. Hi, Sadie, how you doing? Hi, they love to be pet. They always come over. So she breeds her goats and she's been uh, working on her bloodlines over the past six, seven years, I believe it is. And once we have a baby, just I gotta move back. Stella's jumping all over me. She wants her pets. Don't you, Stella? Yeah, there you go. Are you happy now? All right. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so she breeds the goats and we have uh, another herd out the back she breeds as well. And she sells them as registered goats and as bucklings and, uh, she, and weathers. So weathers is we uh, ban the boys and sell them so they can't be bred. So basically pets. And yeah, that's how we, another way to make money is by having goats and selling them. And obviously with our context here, we have the space here to do it all. If you have a smaller property, like I said, maybe like a, well, she was doing on about one acre homestead last time before she bought this place. She was raising her goats and chickens. So I was working for her there. But now with this, we can raise more goats and breed more goats. And as well, we will milk them once they're in milk, once they've had their babies, so that we can have some nice, beautiful goat's milk. It tastes so good, really creamy. All right, so let's head on over to the cows here. And this will be, I guess, number five way. So it's getting really bright out so that I can't see on how we make money on our homestead here. So this is Martha here. Hi, Martha. We bred her a few months back. She's a bit shy sometimes, aren't you, Martha? But what we do is we buy bull calves and then we raise them and we sell bull calves for meat and we keep the meat for ourselves as well and it works out well. So that's Lachlan over there. He's actually going to the butcher in I guess a few weeks here. We had two other cows that we butchered previously. So we sold one and we kept one. And I'm just gonna go over here. It's low, not so sunny because I can't see. Um, so basically when we butchered two, one person bought the one cow and the cost of that basically paid for our butcher fees for our cow and our meat was free. And same in the springtime, we had pigs, which we're gonna get more pigs this year because people want more pig from us. It was really good. I'm gonna back up here because she keeps jumping on me. And uh, yeah, we same thing with the pigs. We had two pigs and we sold one, kept one, and our meat was basically free. And it pays for all the feed and everything, so it's pretty awesome. So that's five ways, I guess, now that we make money on a homestead. And the last way, or well, one of the last ways to make money on a homestead is making maple syrup. This is probably my favorite thing to do is making maple syrup. Um, we got a new evaporator last year, so we can pump it out. Well, this is my sap room. You can check out some of my other syrup videos. Bit of a mess right now. I gotta take the tarps off. Syrup season is about to start. Uh, I tapped yesterday and the sap is slowly flowing. It's uh, supposed to be really warm this week, then it got cold again. Temperatures keep going up and down. Last year I was already boiling. Um, we topped 356 trees this year, which is 100 more than we did last year. And uh, yeah, this is how we make money with maple syrup on the homestead. The sugar bush is just over there on the hill there. And uh, we actually looked at another evaporator this week. Uh, it was uh, twice the size of this one here. And thinking of picking it up next year and getting rid of this one. And can try, do up to at least 600 taps to start with and hopefully get a bunch more for next year. But the setup's pretty awesome here. We bring it on the four wheeler with this tote here, pump it into that tote. Gravity feeds down into our evaporator there and then we're good to go. We boil it off. And right now we finish, all, finish it off inside. I have propane turkey boiler this year that I'll be finishing off with hopefully. And our syrup here, we sell for $15 for 500 mils and $30 for a liter. We're a bit on the higher side than most people, but we sell it every year. So my price is gonna stay the same till I basically can pay everything off 
And if I start can make some, if I can start making some big volumes, then I'll drop the price a bit because it's be a lot less work. But right now, that's the prices for that. Isn't that right, Stella? How's it going, Pooch? Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? So there you go, guys. There's some ideas for you. Hey, Stella, to make some money on the homestead. Hope you found that helpful. Um, I know that everyone's got different ways of making money on the homestead. So let me know what you guys are doing. Um, Cause it'd be good to hear what everyone else is doing. Give us some more ideas. And one last thing, we have rabbits as well. Uh, I'll show you them quickly here. We've been trying to breed them, but they haven't really been catching. But well, we've got rabbit cages here. And we've got some Rexes. So we're hoping to make some pelts, keep the rabbit meat for ourselves and have pelts, make slippers and mitts and whatever else. And maybe sell them and make pillows. So there you go, I guess that's an added bonus one. So I hope you guys found that... Rooster's so, so loud in the morning. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you guys did, please give us a thumbs up, share it around, and we'll see you out there. Have a great day.